Hello everyone. Today I'm going to make a video response to Carol Ann Bentley. So she can get in her head that what she's been believing in is the reason why things are coming upon her religion. And the religion is that she's into that Freemasonry stuff. Hanaku is a Freemason religion. Okay. Therefore, that's satanic. So, of course, you're going to have violence coming upon your way if you're serving a satanic religion. Okay, K. Miss Carol? So, I'm going to show you how the word goes in which you don't seem to recognize. Okay? So, I'm going to pray in the Holy Ghost Spirit to ask God to edify my mouth, to use me in the Holy Ghost, to show you the gospel of his true light so you can see that his living word shell is the truth. Dear Heavenly Father, I shall... Pray to you, dear God, to use my mouth to edify it, to show this woman the gospel of your true light, that you are the only God that we shall serve. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Miss Carol Ann Bentley, it seems like you have a problem in blaming the Christians when it's your religion that is praising Satan. Okay? And of course, when you praise Satan, Satan is violence. Satan is murder. So therefore, you're going to have murder and people being murdered because you're praising a satanic God. Now, let's 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 uh, clarify some things. Now, you say these are Christians doing it. Now, let me tell you about Satanists. Now, they love calling themselves Christians, <laughs> but they are not. You got to discern the spirit by the spirit to see if it's of God. See, you don't have that. You're too busy serving Satan religion. So therefore, you ain't going to see that. You too busy serving him to why the violence and everything coming upon y'all way. Okay? Now, let's get it let's get it correct. God said in Matthew 7, verse 21, says, Not everyone that shall not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven, many will say to me, In that day, Lord. Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? In thy name have cast out devils. In thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work in iniquity. God just told you right there, Miss Carol Ann Bentley, that a lot of people are going to claim they for God, but they are they actions showing it? This is where you have to discern the spirit by the spirit to see if it is of God. Y'all not doing that, okay? You can't say, oh, these people are Christian if they're not living the Christian way. And you not either. So you can't claim the Christians if you're serving a satanic God. Okay? We're going to clarify some things here. Because it seems like y'all have a problem in blaming the Christians when it's y'all you, people they are worshiping other idol gods out here that y'all should not be. Okay? Now, let's go to Exodus 20. Because this goes way back. This goes way back. God has warned us from the get, Miss Carol, not to serve any other but the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? That Hanukkah mess is a Freemason religion. You must understand that. Okay? And I'm going to leave that links below so you can see for yourself. That is a Freemason occult agenda that you believe in. And of course, God don't like that. So things will come upon your way. Don't expect not to be. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on for a sec. I gotta clean the screen here so you can see for yourself that God is the righteous God. Okay? Things are living the way it says it is. It's living. God already written it. Exodus 20, 13, 17. Look at there. Do you see this, um, Miss uh, Carrie and Billy? Let me start with 12. Honor thy father, thy mother, that the days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth. Thou shalt not kill. Do you not see that written in the Bible of the Lord Jesus Christ? Miss Carol Ann Bentley. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. I mean, he written the uh, commandments. He's telling us how to live and what not to do. Okay? So you know these people ain't Christians if God tell us not to kill. Okay? Okay? Make, make it make sense, Miss Carol. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's go to uh, Exodus 1, uh, 21 through 5. Here we go. That's the one. 
Yes, let's go here. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down themselves to them, nor serve them. For I am, I the Lord thy God, am jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers for the children unto the third and the fourth generation of them that hate me. See, he's talking straight to you, Miss Carol and Bentley. Y'all hate him. Of course. See how you despise against the Christians? It is not us that is killing out here and murdering. Satan is of murder. Satan is of violence. Satan is against God. Therefore, you serving a satanic God, those people that you are surrounded by are Satanists. Hello? They Freemasons. Okay? You're going to be around violent people like that. Let's make it make sense. And you blaming the Christians. I have never killed nobody in my life. Okay? I have never killed a person. I haven't. I'm not that type. And I'll be convicted if it be more upon me since I got the Holy Ghost. I'll be convicted tremendously. But you blaming the Christians and you around free basing people. Come on now. Make it make sense, Miss Carol. I'm just waking you up here because it seems like y'all have y'all got it bad with that. Okay? Now, I'm breaking it down for you. Let's see. Let's do Deuteronomy 6 14. Deuteronomy. Let's go to Deuteronomy. You're going to see there's no other God but coming for Jesus Christ. This is why you're, you're suffering. Your religion is suffering. Things are happening in your religion because you're serving Satan. You need to stop. <laughs> ah, but it's funny because y'all quick to blame the Christians who I myself have not killed a person before. But y'all, you're surrounded by Freemasons. You're surrounded by Santana Freemasons, chick. Of course you're going to experience that. They Satanists. They never was with God. <laughs> they claiming to be for God, but are they really? Ask yourself that question. Are they doing the actions that God said, thou shalt not kill? That should explain it to you right there, silly. See, that's, that, that's the problem. Y'all don't have discernment. Y'all too busy against the word. But blaming it on us. It don't make sense, ain't it? Okay, let's see here. Deuteronomy 6. Ye shall not go after other idol, other gods of the gods of the people which are around about you. For the Lord thy God is a jealous God among you. Least the anger of the Lord thy God be kindled against thee and destroy thee from all off the face of the earth. Ye shall not tempt the Lord your God as ye tempted him in Massa. Okay. Amen. Meaning. You will be considered a wicked. Okay, because y'all do wicked things. Y'all sacrificing people at the Bohemian Grove, at the other groves. Y'all doing, y'all worshiping idol gods and killing people. Do you think God likes that? Y'all are, sac you Satanists are sacrificing people. Do you think God likes that? There is no other God should be before him. But you on there wondering why. <laughs> oh, and it's the Christians killing us. Really? Is the Christians killing you? But you're, you're in a Freemason religion. You're in a Freemason cult. Hanukkah? Ain't got, and Hanukkah is all about Freemason religion. And I'm going to leave that link below. Okay? I'm going to just expose everything about y'all. Chick. <laughs> oh, man. It's fun. It's like y'all hanging around Satanists and wonder why they call them. And wonder why you're getting killed. Okay, let's make it make sense, huh? Let's go to, um, let me see, I'm already doing around me. See, 517. Okay, I already doing around me. Say it again. See? Because I said in, uh, what was it, Exodus 20? Doing around me. Look how many times he written the idea of thou shalt not kill. Miss Carol Ann Bentley. He written the scriptures, you know, and he said thou shalt not kill. So you blame it on Jesus, uh, you need to revise that and blame it on the religion that you are in. You're surrounded by people that are satanic. They don't believe in Jesus. They claim they do, but <laughs> you're surrounded by Freemason. Don't you know Satan know the word too? And Satan can manipulate. Okay, he was once in heaven, got kicked out of it. Okay, make it make sense. Let's make it make sense. I'm preaching to you because see, 
I'm going to wake you up a little bit more. Okay? I'm going to wake you up. It's a reason why your religion and people getting killed. You should be worshiping the mind of gods. You shouldn't be. <laughs> See, God only protects his chosen people, his righteous people. Okay? We are the remnant. The Lord Jesus Christ established his remnant upon the land. Therefore, he's going to protect us, us chosen, like me. Okay? But if you're worshiping other idol gods out here, don't expect your wickedness not come upon you. Okay? This is how God's words is being established. Let's see, 44 6. <sighs> here we go. Oh, man, see. Thought I had that tissue. Oh, let's see, let's see. Okay, here we go. Oh, man, hold on a sec. Oh, there we go. All right, so you can see for yourself. It says here. Thus said the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first and I am the last. And beside me, there is no God. Okay, let's read that again, Miss uh, Kara L. Bentley, because I'm going to, dis I'm going to preach to y'all. The reason why y'all being killed by wickedness. Because evil shall slay the wicked. Things gonna, evil will come upon you. Because you, you are serving another God that you should not be serving. Okay. Thus said the Lord, the, God, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and I am the last. Beside me, there is no God. Period blank. Okay. Point blank. God written everything that you, that's going, that's coming to pass. So therefore, therefore, you are experiencing it. <laughs> and it's funny because it's, it's funny how y'all get, oh, you're Christians. I'm going to blame the Christian. No, blame yourselves. You shouldn't be worshiping that stuff. You in a Freemason, Santana religion, and you wonder why people will get killed? Baby. <laughs> Woo! Worshiping the wrong God, I see. <laughs> and you got the nerve to talk about the Christians that you worshiping the wrong type of God. That is Santanic. Of course. That makes it make sense to why y'all getting killed. Okay. Chapter 12. Let's see. Was Romans chapter 12? Okay, I'm going to read this part here. Okay. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove that is good and acceptable, perfect will of God. Us Christians are not of this world. So for you to blame us is not, is, <laughs> is totally not true. Your religion is of this world. Therefore, you surround about people of that Santanic occult, Santanic elite, Santanic people, and they like to claim they're Christians. I've seen witches claim they're Christians, okay? And they're not Christians. They don't live the way God say live, and they're not for him, okay? And God mentioned that time and time again in this, throughout this Bible. Therefore, you need to learn to read that so you can see for yourself. Too busy denying it, see? Too busy into that Santanic cult religion. And that is the reason why you have not have yet to have opened your eyes yet, Okay? You're too busy in denial. Now, let's go to Jeremiah 7, 9. I'm going to just wake you up a bit. Y'all being around a cultist priest, and then you want to know why they're killing y'all. <laughs> and y'all claim these satanic cultists to be Christians. Like, how? How are these satanic cultist priests or pastors that are into ball, by the way, they prophets of ball, by the way, who worship Satan, to be Christian when they far away from the Lord as we speak. Explain that to me, Miss Carol. Mm-hmm. Seven nine. I'm just gonna expose everything. It says, Will, will ye still and murder will ye still murder and commit adultery, and swear falsely, and burn incense unto Baal, and walk after other gods whom ye know not. Let's read that again. Okay? And let me, let's read that again. Will ye steal and murder and commit adultery, swear falsely, and burn incense unto Baal, and walk after other gods whom ye know not, and come and stand before me in this house, which is called by my name, say, we are delivered to all these abominations. Woo! It's written, Miss Carol. It's written in the Bible of the Lord Jesus Christ that y'all all deny. 
Okay? This is why you all should be serving the Lord Jesus Christ from the get. You too busy serving other idol gods. And you want to know why violence is coming upon y'all. That's why. Stop serving Satan. If you're serving the mind of God, don't expect him to protect you. Amen? You need to serve the right God. That's your problem. That's your problem right there, Miss Carol. John 14, 6. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a preach to you. Because, see, y'all, 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 y'all seem to be a little bit confused. Satan got y'all mind blown. Really does. He really does. John 14, 6. Jesus said, Unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man come unto the Father but by me. Let's read that again, Miss Carol. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming unto the Father but by me. So if when you're serving other gods like that, don't expect them other gods to save you. Because, see, there's no other God but the Lord Jesus Christ, baby. And that's the only one that protects. And, guys, let me give you a testimony. I am one of, the, of, of God's witnesses. I have also had sinned. Okay? Long time ago, I have com committed fornication against God. I'm a witness. And I committed a fornication against him. Don't you know Satan came to me every night and saying that, oh, he wants my soul? Had devils come and pressing me down in the bed. And you know you have that act that happened to you. Sleep, sleep, sleep paralysis, they call it. But that's, that's demons trying to get your soul. I had to cry out to Jesus. Okay? Jesus had to save me. I got in my bathroom. I ain't going to know other man. I went in my bathroom, Miss Carol. And said, Lord, I call upon you to save me. Okay? And I cried out in the spirit. I had to literally cry. Because demons was coming at me. Because I have sinned. Now. This time I have saw a dark cloud. Came over me, Miss Carol. And you know what happened with that, Miss Carol? Demons tried to get my soul. So I said, I rebuke you, say in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, get thee back. One spirit, one was a legion of them. One demonic spirit pinned me back down. I said, I rebuke you, say in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, get thee back. Another one pinned me back down. Guess what? I said, Satan, my soul don't belong to you. I am for Jesus Christ. Guess who ha Guess what happened and walked through the door? Jesus Christ right ran it. And it's shite, lining, and shite. Lining, shining light, bright, brighter than the sun, shine upon that dark cloud, and immediately, with a blink of an eye, was gone. I immediately seen his light. So you serving other gods out here. <laughs> I can tell you right now, they ain't for real. They ain't for real. Okay? I'm a witness. I am a witness, and I'm going to preach it to you. To let you know, you need to be saved, chick. <laughs> you in a, you in a, a cult. Where they gonna a lot of people gonna be killed. You need to be saved, chick. If you want to be saved and you don't want to get killed, you best serve the right God. Okay? And I'm a witness to see his light. God Jesus Christ is real. He written all the scriptures that's coming to pass. We are living it as we speak. Okay? So don't come to me about oh, is it your Christians doing it? Because I know for a fact it's a lie. God persecute those that do not do his will. Okay, and he's, he allowed those demons to come at us. Them demons come at us, baby. Them demons come at us. They want our soul, Miss Carol. They want our soul. So therefore, you know who's doing it out here. Okay, Leviticus twenty four seventeen. Okay, God said, and he that killed it, any man shall surely be put to death. And he that killeth a beast shall be shall make it good, beast for beast. And if a man cause a blemish in his neighbor, he had done, so shall it be done to him. Meaning, whatever you do unto others shall be done unto you. Miss Carol, God established that. Okay? And Satanists, they are killing children because they're sacrificing them to their gods. They are killing people because they're sacrificing it to Satan gods. These people are going to weep what they sow. This obvious fact. God already written that. Read your word. But you're too busy into other occult religion. You don't see that. See? Worshiping the wrong God. This is the reason why. 
And I'm explaining it to you. Okay? Exodus 23, 13. And in all things that I have said unto you, be ye sus suspect and make no mention of the name of the other gods, neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. Amen. You see how many times God written that? Miss Carol. And he also written, thou shalt not kill. So you know the people that are killing. <laughs> they are Satanists. People that work for Satan. People who are against God. And you worship an animal? A Freemason religion? <laughs> you surrounded by them. <laughs> and you go without the nerve to talk about the Christians doing it. Let's be for real. Evil come upon you because you're evil. It's just that fact. If you're not living righteous for the Lord Jesus Christ, you will suffer for the evilness that you are doing. It's just that it just it works that way. Okay? This is why no man cannot serve two masters. You either love one or despise the other. Amen. Amen. Look at this. See how the Philistines was worshiping Dagon? And the Philistines took the ark of God and brought it from Ebenezer unto Ashard. When the Philistines took the ark of God, they brought it unto the house of Dagon and set it by Dagon. And when they they Ashad arose early on the morrow, and behold, Dagon was fallen upon his face to the earth before the ark of the Lord. And they took Dagon and set him in his place again. This is this is Satan. Okay? And when they arose early on the morrow morning, behold, Dagon was fallen upon his face to the ground before the ark of the Lord, and the head of Dagon, and both the palms of his hands and were cut upon the threshold, and only the slump of Dagon was left to him. Therefore, neither the priests of Dagon, nor in any coming to Dagon's house, tread on the threshold of Dred Dagon and Ashar unto this day. But the hand of the Lord was heavy upon them of the shard, and he destroyed them, and smote them with emeralds, when Eshar and the coast thereof. Therefore, God is going to make sure the wicked is perished. If you're not serving the right God, you are perished for it. Okay? Yes. God will see that all demons are destroyed. And if you're not serving God, well, you best be prepared for that. <laughs> it's just written. Okay? It is written. And... <laughs> I know you ain't come with me with that, baby. I'm going to tell you why. Why your religion is being being killed off. Why people is being... Because you're not serving the right God like you're supposed to. Don't come to me and talking about, oh, you Christians. Don't don't, don't, uh, don't be blaming it on us. You're the one not serving the right God out of you. Serving that for me some crap. <laughs> you got the dirt to blame the Christians. Baby, you best go somewhere with that. There's only a few of us in this world. And all y'all devils out here doing things against God. Let's go there. Deuteronomy 6.14 Ye shall not go, go after other gods of the gods of the people which are round about you. For the Lord thy God is a just God among you. At least the anger of the Lord thy be kindled against thee and destroy thee from the face of the earth. Okay, I already read that. Okay. Did I, do, did I read 1 Corinthians? Yeah. I think I'm going to make a part two to that. But, Miss Carol, just want to clarify, only serve the Lord Jesus Christ. And your religion is being killed off, people being killed off because they're serving the wrong God. Okay? Just want to make sure to show you that. Only serve the Lord Jesus Christ, people. Jesus Christ is God.